Okay. So let's try a converb, convolution reverb. Here I have a couple things. Let's do this. Where are we? There's the audio drama experimental. This is a movie. Fun fact. We play movies. This. Where are you? Okay. Aha. So this is the stairwell. This is my Zoom recording. That's what I recorded on my Zoom recorder. I'll capture one of those reverbs here. So, if we look at this, check this out. Fun fact. View. Video window. Check me out. Good. Let's play. Hello. Say hello, Aunt Louise. Hello. We're doing an experiment to um, demonstrate convolution reverb. So as you can hear, I'm in a weird environment. I'm in a stairwell in my house. That's my dog. Now. Your dog? We're going to do a big clap. You ready? Yeah. One more time. Ready? Okay, cool. Good. Say goodbye. Goodbye. My microphone for a second, okay? Okay. No. Okay. Anyway, isn't that fun? That was my daughter Eloise. Okay. So now, we don't need to need that anymore. We can actually shrink that. This is the recording that we did. My microphone. These are the claps. The volume. There are more. Let's see. Let's solo that. Good. Say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, here we are. Now, this right here is that clap in the stairwell. You hear the reverb? This is the decay of where that reverb, um, when it stops, right? So what I'll do is I'll take this item here and render it. Stairs, reefer, reaper, reverb. I'm just going to call it the stairs. I want to render it. Okay. Show in the finder. Okay. So I copied it. Okay. That's good. Now, I'm going to put it in my... I don't know where that went. Okay. No problem. I can find it. It's in Reaper Reaper. Okay. Let's get out of there for a second and close. Okay. Here we are back again. Now, this I can mute also. We don't need to hear that anymore. But you heard how it sounded, right? Actually, let's unmute that. Volume. <laughs> Okay, so we sound like we're in a stairwell, right? Great. Here's me in the studio. Dead resurrection is Eremus. Okay, here's you. Here's Aaron in the studio. Dead resurrection is Eremus. Okay, we are dry. Our recordings, that is. Here's the reverb. Now, I'm going to route this. I'm going to put these um, I'm going to route these to the reverb here. Maybe that's not what I needed. I don't remember how I'm doing it. Okay. So right now there's no reverb. So what I could do is I could add an effect this reverb right here. You can add a reverberation on this and make it sound like it's in some other weird environment. Right? Resurrection is Eremus. I can do a preset, like uh, there's a couple things I did. Here's a. Dead Resurrection is Eremus. So that's me 
in a different environment, right? Here's my solo. I put it in a different room. Et resurrection de seramus. Et resurrection de seramus. Okay. Now, what I don't, but actually I want to remove that. Okay. What I'm not going to do is attach it to this file. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to bus the, the um, tracks here. So this, for this track, the reason is I'm going to send both my um, vocals and Aaron's vocals all the way into the reverb. Therefore, this reverb track will be no dry signal, all wet signal. What I will do is impulse response, I can add a file. I'm going to add it from here. Yeah. Okay. So, right now, this reverb track is loaded up with this effect. Okay. I'm going to take my vocals and route them into the reverb track. Now, when I play this, and resurrection is Okay, it sounds like we're in the and resurrection I can also do this little thing here, normalize to negative 18, that'll help a lot. And resurrection is Okay, I can also take my wet down a little. And resurrection is Okay. And resurrection is what I can also do if I want to make it sound more crazy. Okay. I can add uh, filters and normalizers and a dr trim, gain, and stretch, right? So let's try this. And I can change my start position. Dead resurrection is Eremus. Dead resurrection is Eremus. So it's changing the start. So I'm starting instead of all the way back with the clap, I'm in the middle of the decay here. Let's try it. Listen again. Dead resurrection is Eremus. Dead resurrection is Eremus. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let me see. Dead resurrection is Eremus. I'll change the wet. Okay. I can also change a little bit of um, these other items and make it not so long, right? Dead resurrection is Eremus. Okay. Now, I've kind of copied, and it's not perfect, but I can tweak it. It takes a long time to monkey around with it, right? You can do um, different things like high pass and low pass and whatever. But right now, what I did was took this reverb into this track here, this reverb track, right? Your... Uh, Voice. At resurrection is Eremus. At resurrection is. Is still clean. However, I'm going to send this Aaron's vocals to the same reverb. At resurrection is Eremus. Now she, Aaron, you. At resurrection is Eremus. Now we sound like we're in the same space. At resurrection is Eremus. By changing this volume a little bit too, you guys. At resurrection is Eremus. At resurrection is Eremus. I can change the panning a little bit. At resurrection is. At resurrection is Eremus. I can also change the send volume to the reverb, right? So by going here, let's say you send uh, to the volume, the send volume to the reverb. So what I can do is lower it or raise it or even increase or decrease it, right? So let's say this. Let's say... I want to create some points here, and I'm going to raise it here, so you're, it should get more of the reverb signal. Let's listen. 
et resurrectionis seramus, et resurrectionis seramus, et resurrectionis seramus. Et resurrection is Eramus. Et resurrection is. So now you can hear it go. Et resurrection is Eramus. Et resurrection is Eramus. So this can be automated to give you more effect or less effect. So you can hear it. If it goes like actually, oh, well, there's lots of different things you could do with it. Anyway, the point is now. Et resurrection is Eramus. We sound Et resurrection like we're in the same space. Eramus. Et. That's the point. Now, whoosht, I can actually get rid of all this. Um. And that's it. So that kind of shows you uh, how that reverb can work by stealing it from um, from another place. So let's one more time. Let's listen to this. Et resurrection is Eramus. Et resurrection is. Let's listen. Et resurrection. Et resurrection is Eramus. Et resurrection is Eramus. Hello. Say hello, Eloise. Is Eramus. So, it's pretty good mimicking. Again, I can tweak this reverb the effect itself the wet and dry levels um the length of the how long the stretch will go when you start right when we start the this will change how uh, how it sounds but we can tweak it basically i'm stealing the reverb pattern the decay of the reverb attaching it to a a track my bus track, and then sending vocals to that same track. I could apply the effects here, copy them, and put them on the other vocals. But it's kind of cooler to do it this way because then you can send room tone through it. You can send music through it. And uh, it just makes life easy. So uh, that's it. Check it out. And uh, give me a holler if you have any other questions about the reverb. It takes a lot of messing around with it. I'm still not an expert at it. Um, another thing, if you have any... Um, other, I don't know, experiments you want to mess around with, just shoot them my way. Thanks. Bye.